Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's Tom over at Gas. Slightly different video today, so if you follow the channel, subscribe to the channel, we're an automotive repair shop, we fix cars on a daily basis, and when we get a chance, any um, common faults or even new faults, we'll get a video of it if we can, and show you the process, how we diagnosed it, and then we'll upload it to YouTube and hopefully it helps some of you out. So that is our channel, what we've been doing up to now. We're still going to be doing that on the channel, but as well as that, we're going to be building a race car. So I've decided to get back into motorsport car racing. Started car racing probably around 13, 14 years old. I actually started in autograss. So it was a little mini at the time, 1000cc, and I raced that throughout the juniors and then changed class into the men's. So stopped that when I was, I don't know, probably 19, 20, can't remember now. So it's been over, over 10 years since I've last properly raced and I've decided to get back into it, like I say, and I've gone for a new formula so what I'm going to be doing is Brisker Formula 2 stock cars so what they are is they're a single seater purpose built vehicle and they run a 2 litre ZTEC engine or 2 litre P Pinto engine whatever you decide to go for Pintos are obviously getting a bit hard to find so ZTEC's a bit more of a modern alternative so that's what I'm going to be going for. Like I say, totally new to me. I've always kind of been interested in the stock cars. I like going to watch the F1s, F2s. Really good, really good watch. So I just want, wanted to get back into something where I could do plenty of laps, get some races in over a day or an evening, and then uh, get back home again. So what is a Brisker Formula 2, well, like I say, single seater, purpose built, uh, mainly steel, so we've got steel from and rear bumpers, side, side bars, S fairly standard I think, looking at the walls, I don't think you can do a lot to the engines, I'm pretty sure you have to buy flywheel, intake manifold, Firewheel intake manifold, ECU wiring loom from Brisker to make it a bit fair. But what we'll do is we'll do the whole build on the channel. So we'll do different episodes, um, show you how to get into racing, what's involved in building a race car. And if any of you guys and girls can help out there, that'd be great. Like I say, totally new formula. Don't really know everything, what brake, suspension we're using. I haven't really got a clue, to be honest. I've got my rule book. So there's a start. Uh, what I've done is I've actually bought half a car, you could say. So I've bought the main, basically the bottom piece, no roll cage, no bumpers, sidebars. But it is all bracketed up for a suspension and engine. So I've got that from TLF. So TLF build a lot of Formula 2s. There's other, obviously, car makers out there. Uh, Randall Motorsport, Polysport. I think it's WRC Race Fabrications. And that's just what I know of. Um, there's bound to be, bound to be more, but where I am, uh, TLF is a stone's throw away. So, like I say, he's across the road from a unit, and it just seemed it actually come up. It was one he'd built, I think, last year, and he was just needed the space. I wasn't really looking at the time. I was going to leave it a bit later, but. Like I say, it would have been 
a year, another year or two gone by. So it's, it's probably a good job it come up. Um, like I say, I picked it up from him. What I'm going to be doing, instead of going back to TLF to get it all done, we'll, we'll do it ourselves on the channel. So we'll go through the whole pro build process. Roll cage, we'll do ourselves. Panel work, we'll do ourselves. We'll, we'll give it a go anyway. We'll see what happens. Um, not a fabricator, but we've got plenty of people on hand who who's good at what they do and said they give us a hand, so that should be interesting. And like I say, we'll learn as the build goes on. So stuff like brake suspension, I can put together, but as far as what we need, what setups we use, what brakes we use, I haven't got a clue. So I'm going to be going through the, the rule book. Oh, I've had a flick through the plenty of times to be honest and yeah we'll we'll figure it out there's plenty of people we can ask hopefully this youtube video will help um and yeah it should be interesting like i say gone for the two liter z tech i mean they are getting quite hard to find now to be honest and I think the price is kind of vary from £300 to £400. So there's probably some cheaper ones out there. But I know they are getting quite hard to get hold of, it seems. So I think there's out the early Mark 1 Mondeo's focuses. And they, they use them in a lot of formulas. So the F2s use them, 2 litre saloons use them, stock cars. Uh, bangers, I think, use them. So, plenty of formulas using them, as well as all your other uh, circuit racing, I guess, and people just trying to keep their old cars on the road. So, I have managed to find some. So, what we'll do is, I'll show you, I'll show you the kind of chassis what we got quickly, but the next episode we'll get it in the workshop we're getting an axle stands and we'll do another video and look at it properly show you what's what and then we'll get an engine on the stand so this one's i've purchased it's just come straight out of a car braking car so we'll go through what was on the engine originally and what we can take off what bits we can do and then we'll start looking into gearbox, axles. All this is new to me. I mean, I don't, I'm still trying to pick up what, what to use, what people are using. So any help would be appreciated. Um, I've got an Instagram page down the bottom of the screen. So if you can give that a like or follow, and then like I say, you can, any help, is appreciated just ping me a message on the instagram page like i say we'll try to do some giveaways throughout as well we'll see what we can get our hands on see if we can do it in little giveaways and yeah that's it really like i say we'll go through everything getting into racing so we'll get the car built hopefully and then we'll look at, obviously, we need to get the car to a meeting, so we'll look at a van, a trailer, everything that goes part and parcel of racing. So yeah, it's exciting, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to getting back on the track. Like I say, been a long time, but I look forward to getting back out on the circuit. Did do a little bit of the oval racing at Kings Lyman was a junior. We actually had a couple of junior rods we built, me and my brother. And then when the autograph season finished, what we'd do is we'd have a bit of, we'd still carry on in the stock cars. So I think probably only did a handful of meetings. Um, can't remember off the top of my head, but, but that was a long time ago. So, looking forward to it. 
bit close racing. A lot more cars on the grid than there is on, in an autocross field. Uh, a lot more laps. And uh, yeah, very fast paced, I think, um, in between races as well. So it should be, should be interesting. So looking forward to it. So we'll do the videos. Subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with the build. We'll go through everything. So whatever we do on the vehicle, we'll show everything. What we're using, like I say, what we can do to the engines, if we can do anything to them. Gearboxes, axles, brake suspension, building the roll cage, sidebars, everything. So, like I say, it should be interesting. We'll try to pick up some sponsors on the way. We have actually already got a couple of sponsors, which is great. When building anything, race car, it's always good if someone's willing to help you, even if it's just paying for some tyres or set of brakes it all goes it all helps so like i say without sponsors it'd be hard we'll have a look at the costings throughout we'll see how much we spent at the end if we dare look obviously motorsport is never cheap but i'm looking forward to it it's going to be fun and I hope you all enjoy the videos. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and we'll get the stock car on the axle stands. We'll have a look around it, and then we'll move on to the engines, get down the stand, and then, like I say, start to get some bits. I'll try, as I'm doing it, show you where I've got everything from, prices. So if you are looking to build one, or just interested, um, yeah, it, it will all be on the channel. So, look forward to it. Hope you are. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next upload.